My name is Drake Sage, and my project is utilizing artificial intelligence, machine learning, and natural language processing for automated verification of vehicle cybersecurity encrypted data sets. And I'm gonna um, apologize a, ahead of time. Um, I'm not feeling the greatest as of now, so I apologize for the coughing throughout this video. Um, a little bit of an intro to this is, um, as vehicles are getting more and more connected to each other, more and more cybersecurity requirements are being put in place. And with these requirements come validation, sign verification, and lots and lots of testing. So the papers that I cited were uh, Defense Against Adversarial Attacks, uh, Efficient Neural Architecture Search, uh, Provable Defenses, and Graph Convolutional Networks. So this right here is kind of like simulating what an encrypted data set could look like. And with all these testing or with all the requirements and testing that uh, come in play, um, not a lot of people really understand like what they're looking at uh, when testing. So the goal of this project was to just automate and create it, create a model with very high accuracy that could pinpoint um, like certain payloads of data to um, essentially automate the uh, verification process. So this right here is just another simple uh, simple data set. This could uh, represent maybe like a phone to a car type of connection or like a car to a car connection. So in here, like you have like nobody really understands what they're looking at right here. But if uh, if the algorithm understands that it needs to to see A B C D or some sort of like string of data like that to pass the test, then that's what it would see. And then the future work, um, I originally wanted to create a, a uh, fault detection software bot that would basically classify an oncoming attack to the vehicle and uh, efficient neural architecture search would generate an automatic model to stop the attack. But after digging further into ENAS, um, it was it was taking like seven eight hours to generate a model, so it it just wasn't super feasible for my uh, idea. So onto the PowerPoint, um, like I said earlier, vehicles are becoming very very connected, and as connectivity grows, so do cybersecurity requirements. Um, and all this validation right now is requiring uh, human contact. So automating the design verification can and will eliminate the human error which could save many lives or car crashes or anything like that. So I originally wanted to use provable defenses and the PDA algorithm. Um, it was noted that it was 100% accuracy upon boundary requ uh, requirements and it was proven robust against malicious uh, vehicle attacks. But to a sense, it's, it's good for maybe like stopping an attack on site, but it's not great for the tech search of design verification. So I expanded upon gra uh, graph convolutional networks for text search, and this outperformed um, convolutional neural networks and many other networks that it uh, tried to compete against. So going back to this uh, fake encrypted data set, I mean, looking at all these numbers, it'd be very, very difficult to um, identify then back to this other encrypted data set and the future work. So onto the models. The first model is just an unsupervised data. This is based on a movie review that I took off the internet. Um, here's going through the model. I was able to classify different words and it had a test accuracy of 98.55%. Now onto a Google API, um, similar model, uh, the same uh, Atom Optimizer. This one yielded 96.07% accuracy. And then the model three for unsupervised data set. Uh, this is just like an image set. So let's say um, what you wanna verify is transferred to an image set. Um, this would be a good model to use as it was able to predict the image.